celebration will now begin. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome, dear friends, to our Eucharistic celebration on this uh, fifth Sunday of Lent. Formerly, this was called the Passion Sunday in which we see more clearly the theme of the Lord's Passion in the readings, in the liturgy. And uh, as we accompany the Lord in this journey towards Calvary, towards the cross, we invoke God's help, God's light for all of us, especially in these critical times of our history, of our lives. We invoke with uh, confidence and trust God's help for all of us. At the beginning of this celebration, we also open our hearts once again to God's mercy and forgiveness. We recognize our sins, uh, that we have committed. Together we pray, I confess Almighty to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God. May we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with my their fathers, the day I took them by the hand to lead them forth from the land of Egypt. For they broke my covenant, and I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All, from the least to greatest, shall know me, says the Lord. For I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. goodness in the greatness of your compassion wipe out my offense thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sin cleanse me clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustained in me. I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. Yeah. 
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ Jesus was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death, and he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered, and when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, O Lord, are spirit and life. You have the word. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Among those who had come up to worship at the feast of pa Passover were some Greeks. They approached Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and put this request to him, Sir, we should like to see Jesus. Philip went to tell Andrew. Philip and Andrew in turn came to inform Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. I solemnly assure you, unless the grain of wheat falls to the earth and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat but if it dies it produces much fruit the man who loves his life loses it while the man who hates his life in this world preserve it to eternal life if anyone would serve me let him follow me where I am there will also my servant be Anyone who serves me, the Father will honor. My soul is troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from the sky. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. When the crowd of bystanders heard the voice, they said it was a thunder. Others maintained an angel was speaking to him. Jesus answered, The voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now has judgment come upon this world. Now will this world's prince be driven out. And I, once I am lifted up from earth, will draw all people to myself. This statement of his indicated the sort of death he was going to die. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Magandang araw. A blessed Sunday to all of you, especially those who are joining us through this uh, live streaming in other parts of the world. I would like to start this reflection with a story that I read. <clears throat> One day a man was uh, walking along the beach when he noticed a, a boy picking up something and gently throwing it back to the sea. Now, approaching the boy, the man asked, What are you doing? The boy replied, Throwing starfish back to the sea. The tide is going down, he said. If I don't throw them back to the sea, they will die. The man said, Son, don't you realize that there is a miles of, no, of beach and hundreds or thousands of starfish? You can make the difference. After listening politely, the boy bent once again and picked up another starfish and threw it back into the sea. Then, smiling at the man, he said, See, I made a difference for that one. I made a difference for that one. What is seemingly small and insignificant thing or act can be a source of fruitfulness and life. Jesus used the image of a seed that needs to die, as he said, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies. It remains just a grain of wheat, but if it dies, it produces much fruit. The seed needs to die in order to produce much fruit. This act of dying becomes, shall we say, the principle of fruitfulness. And Jesus saw that this moment of dying on the cross as a fruitful moment also in his life for it was this very moment of dying like the grain of wheat which becomes also the very moment of his glorification that is the whole spirit of the gospel of John which we have read that the cross is not for, uh, for John's gospel, John's perspective, is not a miserable death, but a glorious death. No. And uh, it became the very moment of Jesus' glorification, the moment of his supreme sacrifice to the Father, and also the moment of supreme service to humanity. And Jesus saw that this moment of being lifted up on the cross, that he will draw all people to himself. A scene reminiscent of that image of that serpent mounted on a pole in the desert by Moses, and according to the, to the story, whoever looked at it, those beaten by poisonous serpents, will be healed. And the Son of God, mounted on the cross, becomes the principle not only of healing, but of our salvation. What is seemingly an image of defeat, paradoxically, 
is the expression of his victory of glory of supreme sacrifice and service to God and for humanity at the core of this is the triumph of love a love of Christ that is life-giving it is in the act of dying out of love and obedience to the Father's will that bear fruit of abundant life, blessings, and eternal life for those who believe and follow Jesus Christ. With Jesus' teaching and example of dying, we have seen that dying is the principle of fruitfulness. And this can be verified too in our daily life, not only in the life of Jesus. When one knows how to die of one's pride, for example, it bears the fruit of peace, understanding in our relationships. Pagpairalin mo ang pride mo, there is no peace and understanding. If one knows how to die of one's own narcissism, self-centeredness, it bears fruit of empathy, compassion, and service. Kung umiikot lang ang mundo mo sa sarili mo, you will not empathize and see the suffering of others. There are great examples of people who have uh, who know how to die of themselves are the parents, for example. Many, when they get married, they do not think of themselves anymore. But for the good of their family, how many people braving loneliness and distance just to provide for one's family, forgetting themselves? How many beautiful women at times forget to comb their hair in order to continue to serve their family, forgetting themselves. Kabaliktaran, kung puro sarili, what happens? You know, delinquent children. No direction at all. So, we see that this dying that Jesus was telling us is in fact an everyday life reality that should mark our Christian life. How we wish and pray that those who bowed to, uh, to serve the community, the country, the world, will also learn to die of themselves, of the lust for power and violence, of greed and ambition, because without dying of these, there can be no authentic service to others. It will just be lip service and self service. Dying as Jesus taught and shown is the principle of true and Christian fruitfulness. If you want 
to be truly a fruitful Christian, we need to die every day of these things that impede us to be really fruitful in the service of others and of our God. May the Lord with his cross, with his example, be our strength as we also try to die of ourselves. Amen. We profess our faith, I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us ask the Heavenly Father to help us to be like Christ, His Son, who loves the world and who died for our salvation. With confidence, we pray. Lord, listen to your people. Lord, listen to your people. May Pope Francis, the bishops, the clergy, and consecrated men and women be examples of self-giving love and inspire the people to glorify you through their good works. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to your, your people. Inspire our government officials to build a world of peace and goodness and show concern for the good of all. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to your people. people. Make our love grow deeper every day so that we may share with others their joys and sorrows. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to your, your people. Keep us from all harm and diseases, especially from the COVID-19, so that we may continue to live harmoniously. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to your, your people. people. Grant that our beloved dead may be reborn to a new life in you and rejoice forever in the vision of your glory. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to your, your people. people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. Heavenly Father, listen to the prayers of your children. Help us to be men and women for others so that we may be worthy of eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
your glory We will eat this living bread We will drink this saving cup And feel your presence, O oh Lord As we offer these breads And as we bring you this wine Bless them, Lord Jesus, feed us now, give us life. Send us your Spirit, the source of our lives, and together we will serve you with love. As we offer this bread, and as we bring you this wine, bless them, Lord Jesus. Brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today you have revealed the mystery. For by your gracious gift, each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood 
of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Father, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. Grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope, Onesto our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, inspiring us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at His command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and in the peace of Christ. We remember our beloved dead, those recommended in this Mass, the victims of this pandemic, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs, with Saint Joseph and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
with gratitude and joy in our hearts for having been redeemed by the dying and rising of his son we now address him with the prayer our lord himself taught us Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the us. kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. of the world have mercy on us Jesus Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the, to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Reminder, the Holy Communion will be done by rose. Please wait for the ushers to guide you accordingly. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please kneel for the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we, we come, come to you in our, in our need to seek, seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed, disturbed and even claimed lives. We, we ask you now to look upon us with love, with love and, by and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strength in our faith. faith. We pray, we pray that you guide the people, the people tasked to find, to find cures for this, for this disease, disease and, and to stem its transmission. We, we thank pray you that for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding, guiding hands. hands. Bless, Bless our, our efforts to use these, these vaccines, vaccines to end the pandemic the in our country, our country and, and the whole world. world. We pray, pray for, for our health, health workers, workers that, that they, they may minister to the sick with, with competence and, and compassion. compassion. Grant, Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their, their commitment, protection from, from the disease. 
we, we pray, pray for those afflicted. May, may they be restored, restored to health soon. Protect, protect those who care for them. For them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give, give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to, and to help, help those in need. May our, our concern and, and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead, and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant, Grant all this through our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, your, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the, the unity of the Holy Spirit, Spirit God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, and deliver us always from all dangers. O oh, glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Reinademitz. Pray for us. Please be seated for some announcement. <clears throat> the statement of the Diocese of Cobao on declaring two weeks lockdown. My dear faithful in the Diocese of Cobao, this is the time for prudence, courage, and love. With the rising surge of cases of infection swirling around us, the Diocese of Cobao has decided to declare a lockdown of its parish churches for the period March 22 to April 4, 2021. This is to encourage the faithful to stay home and keep them safe. We will reopen for public worship on April 5, Easter Monday again, following our existing and perhaps even stricter safety protocols voluntarily closing our places of worship at the highest point of our liturgical year is heartbreaking but we also open our eyes to an open to a situation that puts many of our faithful at risk numbers are surging and scientific data show that unless drastic interventions are done these numbers will not decline anytime soon first john 3 17 quotes if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet shuts up his bowels of compassion from him, how does the love of God abide in him? Together, we must embrace an act of self-denial for the sake of many of our brothers and sisters. Your bishop, parish priests, religious leaders, relevant ministries will exert all possible efforts to find the best and most fruitful ways for the faithful to celebrate Holy Week on safe online platforms. This is the season of great love. For me, loving our neighbors at this time means keeping them safe. Be comforted that only our church doors will be shut. We keep to heart that what Pope Francis says, Jesus says to each one of us, Courage, open your heart to my love. You will feel the consolation of God who sustains you. I continue to pray for your protection and healing. Yours in Christ, Most Reverend Onesto F. Ontioco D.D., Bishop of Cabao, attested by Reverend Father Frederick Edward Simon, Chancellor. We invite everyone to join our online stations of the cross every Friday at 5.15 p.m. the season of Lent. This will be live streamed. Our online Holy Week schedule are as follows. Holy Monday to Wednesday, March 29 to 31. There will be Lent and Recollection during the 6 p.m. Mass. Holy Thursday, April 1, 2021, at 8.30 a.m., Lauds, 
5 p.m. Mass of the Lord's Supper. Shrine closes at 9 p.m. On Holy Friday, April 2, 2021, at 8.30 a.m., Lords, 9 a.m., Stations of the Cross, 3 p.m., Veneration of the Cross, 6 p.m., Stabat Mater and Burol de Jesus, Shrine closes at 9 p.m. On Holy Saturday, April 3, 2021, at 8.30 a.m., Lords, 8 p.m., Easter Vigil. On April 4, 2021, Easter Sunday, regular Sunday Masses are scheduled. For more information, please check the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, Facebook page. The Mission Communication Foundation, Incorporated, is inviting you to attend the seven last word on April 2, Good Friday, from 12 to 3 p.m. to be aired at ABS-CBN and Capamilia channels. So, kinalulungkot na parang uh, kaya in-online din natin itong misa natin ng 6 p.m. Uh, para ma-inform kayo kasi late nang dumating itong information na ito. So, well, with all the preparations, God disposes otherwise. So, kagaya ng nasabi ng ating mahal na obispo, ito ay... Hindi dahil tamad ang pare para magmisa uh, at gawin ng mga ito, kundi dahil sa ating pagmamahal sa kapwa na ayaw nating tayong maging sanhi ng infection ng ibang tao. So, this is our concrete act of loving people by being uh, not carriers of the virus and uh, observing these health protocols. So, ito yung aming uh, mungkahi sa inyo, ay, ang aming uh, offering sa inyo, yung ating online services na lockdown o hindi lockdown, ito pa rin ipinagpapatuloy namin itong servisyo ng ating uh, uh, simbahan with the live streaming baka madagdagan pa yung mga activities natin diyan online kaya please uh, like our uh, our uh, YouTube channel ng at saka uh, ating Facebook page ng Shrine para sundan ang mga activities pabasa maybe we will add o bisita iglesia virtual also online we will uh, uh, ito ino-organize pa namin dahil nga itong sa pagdating nitong lockdown na naman. So once again pagpatuloy natin na magsakrifisyo para sa pag-ibig natin sa kapwa at sa Diyos uh, at ipagpatuloy natin manalangin sa awa at pagmamahal ng Diyos. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, your families, your loved ones, and all your activities and work in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yes.
kasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay Santa Maria Ina ng Diyos ipanalang